At the recently held FS Expo held in San Diego, the X-Plane development team gave us an update on X-Plane 12. This is a summary of their keynote presentation, which covered a wide range of different aspects within the sim, and I'll also be sharing my thoughts with you. Welcome to the Sim Hangar, my name's Mark, thanks for watching and let's get started. The development update for X-Plane 12 was kicked off by one of the larger than life personalities within the flight sim community. Love him or hate him, he is the creator, owner and founder of X-Plane. It's Austin Meyer, the chief executive, the top dog, president for life and benevolent dictator. And no, this is not a meme, this was actually in the presentation. Very weird Austin, but hey, whatever works for you mate. He explained that the weather engine has been completely rewritten from the ground up, moving away from a localized meta reporting to the utilization of crib files based on data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. In essence, a global weather system with high-res detail near to the point where you may be. In Sim, the way the weather is depicted will also be getting a revamp. Ben Supnik, one of the lead developers at Laminar Research, went on to explain that X-Plane 12 will now include full volumetric clouds. Due to the earlier adoption of Vulcan and Metal, a lot of the 3D data processing will now be passed first to the GPU before going to the CPU. This, in conjunction with ray marching techniques, will make the whole process more efficient and realistic. Note the raindrops in the puddles, very cool. The Librain add-on, which was a must-have in previous editions of X-Plane, will now be incorporated in X-Plane 12, and will include effects such as prop wash on the windscreen and so on. It was also mentioned during the presentation that backwards compatibility for X-Plane 11 was also a priority. Whilst this is obviously good news for many, I can't help wondering whether or not it was a development restriction. Time will tell. A fairly significant announcement for X-Plane 12 was that the sim now inherently will have seasons, and seasonality will be accurate based on location and time. Of all the simulators, X-Plane in my opinion has always had the worst trees. Well, there's now a new forest engine. As you get up close, trees will now be in 3D and will sway in the wind reacting to the current weather environment. The graphics and physics behind the water has had an upgrade. Ben Supnik explains more. Explains water waves are affected by the wind speed and weather conditions, but also by the type of water. We have large waves in the open ocean and smaller waves in rivers and lakes. In x 12, the entire water simulation has moved to the graphics card. The graphics card simulates the water conditions ahead of time and sends them to the CPU so the flight model can interact with that water data accurately. This is the first time we've ever done something that runs on the graphics card first and then the CPU, and it's made possible by our move to Metal and Vulcan. Besides 3D waves, X-Plane knows the depth of the water, and starting with X-Plane 12, we now know the color of the water you're flying over. This is a huge improvement for flying in the tropics. From what I can see, there's little in the way of any significant change in terms of X-Plane scenery. There's an expansion of scenery assets for third-party developers, but the basis for X-Plane scenery remains autogen. So it appears the X-Plane motto of plausibility is good enough hasn't changed. Whilst this may have little consequence for IFR pilots, for VFR pilots, well, it's an important aspect that shouldn't be ignored. I accept and acknowledge they don't have access to something like Bing Maps, but I was hoping for a little bit more than this. My expectations changed about a year ago. It's no longer about what's plausible, but what's possible. The sound options and range within X-Plane 12 have been expanded. In addition to F-Mod 2.0, the sim inherently now has ambient sounds to create a more immersive living world and the sounds you hear adapt to both distance and place.
X-Plane has always been known for the strength and depth of its systems, and X-Plane 12 is no disappointment in this regard. Featuring a number of new options and expanded capabilities, this will not disappoint airliner pilots. There was little commentary or expansion on the flight model. The air traffic control system has also had a bit of an overhaul. It features a new look interface. And for those of you using multi-monitors, well, you can dock them wherever you want. There's a number of significant improvements for VFR pilots, including position checks and how it handles various weather changes. And one highlight for VR users, there's a push-to-talk option to interact with ATC. Voices are now regionalized, so you won't always have the same air traffic controller speaking to you. Yes, November 750 X-ray radio check. Unfortunately, the voices are those horrible computer-generated ones. X-Plane 12 will be adding to its default fleet, including a fly-by-wire A330. I think the addition of an Airbus will come as no surprise. And as you can see, it features interior modeling as well as depth of systems. If you feel this is too big for your liking, well, you've also got the option of the Citation X Jet. And it features the standard suite of Honeywell instrumentation, a popular and very nimble aircraft in the real world. And if you feel this is still too big to handle, well, no worries, you've also got the option of the Cirrus. And then there's this. I think it would be fair to say that this edition will come as little surprise to most. So there we are. That's my summary of the presentation given. I haven't covered every point, but I've covered the main ones, I believe. And compared to X-Plane 11, there has been some significant development in a number of areas. X-Plane continues to hold the mantle for system depth and for flight model accuracy. But that's the status for today and not necessarily for tomorrow. To me, I must confess to being a little bit disappointed. This feels more like X-Plane 11.6 rather than version 12. Perhaps my expectations were a little bit too high. At the end of the day, X-Plane is a business and a business survives to a large degree on market share. Right now, I remain to be convinced that this is enough of a step up to maintain its position. Expectations have changed and it's no longer about what's plausible, but about what's possible. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found this interesting and informative. I'll see you again soon. Stay well and bye for now.